Hello, uh, this is going to be a quick video, uh, probably, because I don't think either of these games are very big games that we're going to do in this first ever first date double date. Uh, so we've got two games we're going to test out today. The first is Celebrity Slot Machine for the PS4. Um, now, full disclosure, as always... Uh, this and the other game uh, both were provided to me by the vendor. Um, I So these were um, review copies, basically. Um, I was just quickly looking at this one, the Celebrity... Uh, slot Machine. And uh, yeah, the ratings on it are not good. Now, there's only nine ratings, to be fair. Uh, but a third of them gave it one star. So you can see 33%. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like uh, two people gave it five star, two people gave it two stars, three people gave it one star, and one person gave it four, and one person gave it two. So, I don't know. This is for PS4. I'm obviously playing it on a PS5 because I don't have my PS4 hooked up anymore. So what's the point? Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, yes. I mean, just visually, it looks like it's a type of game that should be like on a mobile phone. There's a lot of these type of games I've noticed um, popping up on consoles. Uh, Switch seems specifically heavy with them. Um, but yeah, let's uh, start this up anyways. And these are like free-to-play mobile game type games. And yet, for some reason, they're ending up on consoles. And some of them even cost money on consoles, which doesn't make sense. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense because on the mobile, they make the money through the advertising. Whereas here, they can't really make the money through the advertising. Um... Can't set it up to What does it have? Okay, I'm confused. What does um, guessing the color of a card have to do with anything? Why can I go on the bet line?
okay? <laughs> New high score! Six! Yeah! How do I... I don't get it. How do I have money again? There's not an option to click, like, maximum bet. This is kind of... A, this part's kind of annoying. So if you cash out, does it just like... Does cashing out do anything? That's the thing, I don't think cashing out actually does anything. So if I cash out again, is it gonna reset me back to a thousand? Like, it seems like. Yeah. So whether you lose all your money or whether you lose all your money or you don't lose all your money, if you lose all your money, you just get a thousand again. If you cash out, you just get a thousand again, no matter what you were at. And it's like, so. So you gamble with your winnings by betting on the next card. I'm not even doing anything at this point.
And then I lost it all because I picked the wrong color. right back where you were. Got a PlayStation trophy. Exciting. Till we lose it all again. Which is happening very rapidly, as you can see.
Well, there you go. So, yeah, it's 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 a mobile game. At the end of the day, it's a mobile game. Um, I mean, it's not a it's not a bad game. It's just it's a weird game for a console. Is what I'm getting at. I mean. I guess the one thing that would be good, because, like, for me, these are the type of games that you would only play on your phone, and, you know, to waste time and kill time, like, and so forth. And this isn't really that game uh, for a console. But, I mean, I guess with the PlayStation Portal, maybe if you don't want to get too in-depth into a game and you got a Portal, it might not be so horrible. I don't know. Um... But yeah, it just, it seems really off. Like, it seems like a weird pick for a thing. Excuse me. I have no idea how much this game even costs. Uh, let's quickly look that up. Uh, how much does this game even cost, out of curiosity? $10.99. So, it's not an overly expensive game. I get it, there's no ads in this, unlike on a phone where you would have ads and so forth. So, I get it, that's how they're going to make their money on this. Again, it does overall seem like a weird fit for consoles. That's all I'm going to say about this one. I don't know. Three out of five, I guess. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the next game. Okay, so the next game we got up, uh, ironically, also made with Unity. Uh, I don't know, maybe, is, is it actually the same company? It could be the same company. Makes both games. Uh, who makes this one? Developer NYX Digital. Yeah, it's, it's the same company. So the same company makes this game too. Uh, so again, it is a mobile style game. I already looked up the price for this one. This one's ten dollars and ninety-two cents. Um, and again, this is very much more of a game you would play mobile. I think. Um, That's right. Start with corner pieces, anyway. I'm pretty sure that one's right. Cause I'm, if I remember correctly, the cat was down in the corner. Oh, it actually, you can actually do that and you can see the grid. So yeah, so those two pieces are probably in the wrong spot. Based on the grid. Okay, but I want to do it without the grid, if I can. For the edges with the cat. Oh, if the piece is correct, you can't select it again. 
Okay, so like, because I can't reselect the corners anymore, but I can still select this piece and move it. Oh, I, that's obvious. It's kind of dumb. Now it is letting me move that piece again. makes a little thing when it's in the right spot.
so close. What does the X mean, though? I don't know what the X means. Seven minutes, jeez. Yeah, so this is even less of a console game than the other one, in my opinion. I don't, e I don't even know that I'd want to do this on a mobile phone. Um, I mean, if you like puzzles, I suppose. If I mean, it's ten bucks. 1092 to be exact on the Nintendo Switch. To clarify Canadian prices. Um, so yeah. If you're into it, it's cool, but I mean, that's, that's too much of a waste of time in my opinion. I'd rather be playing more fun, engaging games and so forth. I like stories. I always have. Puzzle games are fun, but mm, yeah. I'll stick to the Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Anyways, that's it. Take care. Have a good one. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.